You know, it's a print in which it's hard to pin uh, the increase on any particular category, pretty broad based. Well, at the same time, isn't that why the Fed's talking about raising rates? I mean, one of the things that really astounds me is let's say this number uh, showed a decline in almost every single aspect of what we saw it in. I think we'd be saying, I cannot believe the Fed is raising range 0.75. They're going to throw us right in a recession. What I think the Fed is doing is saying, OK, look, let's make it so that housing is not so hot. Can't do all that much about food. We'll be able to make it so that you can't buy a lot of autos because the financing is going to be too expensive. Why did people think the Fed was going to do 0.75? Did they think the Fed would say, you know what, weaker number, let's, let's cool it? You know, David, when I look at these things and I look at the futures down big, I think, all right, are the people who still do this risk on, risk off nonsense really still in charge after we've seen that this is the year of the stock picker? David, I need three stocks that get hurt by this. I just need three stocks. All right. give, me, give me two stocks. Give them to me, please. Well, so you're just blaming rapid fire traders who are looking at CPI numbers and reacting as opposed to actually reacting to what? The, the macroeconomic picture as it really stands? I mean, Jim, it, we yeah, were expecting a down exactly. number. We'd gotten hints that we might finally be taming inflation in a, in a more significant way. And then we see that, you know, the index for all items, less food and energy, rose 0.6% in August. It was only up 0.3% in July. It's going in the wrong direction. But, but let's talk about empirical data. Uh, about two hours ago, we did a significant piece on rents. Diana Olick did a piece about how rents are going down. That is something that could be happening in all the high-end areas. When you talk to GM and Ford, what they say is they're worried about financing going higher. I think that's going to happen. When you look at the actual price of homes, they're obviously coming down. Is food necessarily an issue? Well, we know from Tyson Food last quarter that both food, of, of both beef and chicken, they weren't able to raise prices. So when I look at these things, I say to myself, Oh, wow, the Fed's going to raise 0.75, and it looks like things might be leveling out. I want 0.75. The discussion of 1.0 is, is pretty is panicking, and the discussion of 0.50 is not enough. So how about if we can just say, and Carl, I think this is what's so significant. If we had tame inflation and we heard that the Fed's going to move 0.75, the whole discussion this morning would be about recession. Can we just cool it and say there's going to be some inflation uh, less likely chance of recession. Uh, and then instead of selling everything, we actually look at what we're selling. Um, is this the time to sell JP Morgan on this? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.